Hello and welcome back. My name is Wes and I am with Camp Town and today we will continue our Nature 101 series. Uh, today we will talk about principles 6 and 7 of Leave No Trace. Now principle 6 of Leave No Trace is respecting wildlife. Now out here at this creek there is quite a bit of wildlife. Uh, right now there are a bunch of birds flying around. I just saw some ducks swimming in the creek behind me a minute ago. Um, but the important thing is that I let them be and I respect them. Um, there are multiple reasons why. The first of being, um, this is their habitat. I wouldn't want someone coming to my home and messing with things, because that would make me feel not at home and you know, possibly I'd want to leave. We want to make sure we leave this for them. The second thing is we can alter their behaviors. And a lot of times this is, comes through with feeding animals. Um, you know, I could bring down bread and feed all the ducks down here every day, but then they would expect that and they could possibly stop trying to find their own food. Um, and then they rely on me. And then what that could cause, if I, don't, if I don't keep on feeding them, they could starve or they might not have the tools or resources to be able to keep living. Um, so it's important that I respect them and allow them to do what they do naturally. Um, and third off, you know, some animals can be dangerous or I can be dangerous to them. Um, so I wanna steer clear, I wanna give them respect and I want to make sure I keep my voice down. I'm not trying to yell out here, scare them, um, because they're living their life and I need to make sure I respect that. Principle number seven of Leave No Trace is respecting others. Especially in a place where there's a lot of foot traffic, it's important to allow people the opportunity to enjoy the experience, as well as being polite to them. Um, a great example of this for me is while hiking. Most of the time I am I'm going for a day hike so I'm not really carrying a lot with me um, but I will see people that are backpackers or carrying a lot of weight. So what I'll do is I'll step off to the side of the trail and I'll let them pass um, while saying hello and, and being nice. Um, but doing that um, allows them to keep enjoying their experience and I'm sure um, they're trying a lot harder with all that, that weight, extra weight on them. And I wanna make sure that I perpetuate that and continue that experience for people and I would hope they would do the same for me um, so that is that is one way that I try to be polite and courteous while being in nature um, another way and I think this is probably one of the most important um, is keeping your voice down low and not shouting you want nature's sounds to prevail Thank you for watching this series about Leave No Trace. I hope you guys learned a little bit um, and are able to apply quite a bit in your own lives when enjoying nature. Um, for this video today, I have also included an activity sheet in the description below. So please feel free to check that out. I have some questions in there and some scenarios, um, but thank you for watching and have a nice day.